Well, 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 hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Headbangers Unite with, with your buds, the Gargoyle, me, yeah, Bob Gar, and right next to me is... The Hammer! That's right, Ed Stilts, the Hammer. And uh, this is uh, going to be uh, an interesting show, but not because of the, well, of course, because of the album we picked, pick, but, you know, I, I put on Facebook about what the big news is, and I think we can go ahead and make it official now that Ed... It's going to be doing everything with me. It's not. There you just, go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to. How would you uh, know with that? I know it's going to be great. Uh, this show started to take off, and, and that's what we were. I think we were kind of waiting for. We didn't really say it to each other, but I think we both thought it. You know, things are starting to click and and, and go. And uh, uh, I, I think we're going to keep the page gargoyles graveyard, but we're going to change the name of the interview show. And I don't know if that's etched in stone yet. Uh, wait on that one, shall we say? Is that a good idea? Yeah, probably. So. Okay, just hold off for, off on that one. But we're going to both be doing the interview show. So when you the interview start again, you're going to get both of us. Um, uh, and uh, and also that's going to be the big change there. Uh, Ed's been added as an admin to the page, so everybody give him a warm <laughs> greeting and 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 you know welcome him aboard. Uh, th this is a, a brotherhood that. It was meant to be uh, doing the shows together, all of them. And we're going to try to you know, cross-promote with other shows. Oh, yeah. Twitter, mm -hmm, uh, finally. Mm -hmm. Although I hate Twitter. I yeah. Hate <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that's what we're going to do. And that's what I did with the original Gargoyles Graveyard was, was anybody that did an interview with me uh, prom got promoted heavily, a any little thing heavily, you know. And, and uh, so, so that's, you know, what we're going to do here. Um, so we're going to start everything back. Uh, we've got a, I've got one in, in store, uh, but I don't know when that's going to going to be. But uh, after that, yet yeah, it'll that'll be it. We're going to start doing this all all over again and uh, make this a, a a legitimate page, shall we say, on on uh, on Facebook. So it'll still be Gargoyles Graveyard. This show, uh, any other shows that we do, and all will all be found there. Um, I'm leaving the page public, so there's no need to print it twice. Immediately. That's why just, we watch what we say. Yeah, well, yeah, a little bit. So, a little bit. Yeah, just a tinge. But, uh, you know, so that's what we're going to do. And, and I, I couldn't be happier and I couldn't be more excited. I think this is uh, this is the influx of, of new blood and all that the show needs because I know I can be boring sometimes. And, and Ed and I play off so well. I just think that that's going to add uh, a whole new dimension to the interview show. Um so, which is good, which is really cool. And, and um, like I said, I hope, you know, uh, all of you will not watch us and, and hear us will, will feel the same way. So, so give Ed some love. He, he's, he's going to be interviewing people with me and, and, uh, and he'll, he'll have some interviews that he'll come up with and I'll have some that I'll come up with and, and, uh, I'll, and uh, it should just be a lot of fun, which is what it should have been, what it should be anyway. Was, the the interviews were always fun, you know, so, and so that's what we're going to do. Me, I do, have, I do yeah. have a back on doing interviews from um, the, the wonderful world of professional wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> well, nothing wrong with that. That's entertaining in itself. I don't watch it anymore. But. Well, why would you? But the classic stuff know. is still, you know, 70s, 80s, early 90s stuff, still great, you know. So, yeah, that's not exactly. You know, it's kind of like music, you know, the, the old stuff is, is better. So, so anyway, so that's our big news. And, uh, you know, like I said, everybody uh, come on the page because this is where the show is going to be. Really is what you just yeah. said, right? Come on the page. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Okay. Well, I get excited about this, too. I always am aroused when we do this show. So there you go. <laughs> it's right in. See? So it's all good. Uh, yeah, but this is where the show is going to be. And like I said, no, like that. And, you know, Ed and I may put them on our, our personal pages. But if you want first shot at them. Go, you're going to go to the Gargoyles Graveyard page and get that. And even more now, we want you to tell us which albums do you want us to talk about. And if you have somebody in mind that you want us to interview, let us know. Okay? So it's all good. So with that being said, let's go on to the show. Uh, another great one that was so much fun to catch back up to because I hadn't listened to it for a long time. Um, Me either. Yeah, you know, so. And uh, uh, just... Brilliant, brilliant album. But this is uh, Iron Maiden's The Number of the Beast, uh, which is classic. Uh, I, I, the big deal about it, I think, is it's the first album with Bruce Dickinson. Dickinson. And it's, yeah. the, it's the album that my parents hated. They didn't want oh, me to why? listen to it. 
Because Why I, grew up was... in a very Catholic household. You nutty Catholics. <laughs> so six, 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 number of the beast. Like, that wasn't <laughs> cool. Just, just tell them they weren't quite good enough. They were only six, six, five point nine. Right. That's yeah, all. See? But we'll get into it. But that's that's yeah. only about a nightmare. That's nothing. <laughs> that's all. Very. But dark, dark album. And uh, when we get to the song, uh, one of one of my favorite bands that uh, it's just mine, uh, and I don't think cares too much for them, actually covered one of the songs on this record. So uh, I'll bring it up when we get to that. So okay. So let's dive in. Let's 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 go into the hair. Uh, interesting about this is that the, the first side isn't the one where they they fire the singles on. It's kind no, of no, it's not. And in reverse. Fact, my opinion for, and first song I, I'll, I'll I'll take that is Invaders. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, it's just kind of an average. I mean, on the album, there's like two that are you know, and, and the, I, I read up that um, they only had a certain amount of songs, and right. they thought there, there were one or two that could be better and. This was one of them, and I, I'm just really shocked that they let that the album leads off with it. Yeah, you know, looking back, listen. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's uh, all right. There's nothing it's wrong. It's okay. But... Th this is a song that wasn't on the original part of the album, the, the original pressing of the album that we'll talk about in a little while. That song should have been on there instead of this one. I would agree. I think, yeah, you know, it's good. It's good, but that's and about it. You can definitely your hear your introduction to Bruce Dickinson. It's true. Very true. Very true. And, you know, that was one of the changes they had to make, too. Is Steve Harris started writing different lyrics to fit Dickinson's voice yeah. better when they were doing this. So, but, you know, um, it's good. It's I don't hate it or anything like that. The, the thing that I get a big kick out of is, is the first time I saw them, they were opening for Judas Priest. Right. Song sounds sure, like I wish I would have went to. I wasn't going to concerts just yet. Not yet, yet. So I got to see him two times. But, um, Speaking of which, I want to show that off. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that, well, that's what this show is about, showing off. So, <laughs> so there we go. Uh, but yeah, it's a good song. And I, I, can, I can hear the, the Judas Priest influence uh, mm, on. on that song, you know, but Priest would have done it better, I think. But, you know. Another heavy influence in Maiden is, is the band Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, we don't really talk uh, classic rock, but they're, they're going right. to hear a lot of it. Nothing wrong with a little prog rock thrown in there. It's all yeah. good. So, you know. And I think this is the first album that, that you know, they went from kind of a punk metal, and you're starting to hear the prog more. Where, yeah. And we'll go as we go through it. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. This is this is the change into the Iron Maiden we all know and love. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So, and, and that's you know, how I feel. So, yeah, good, good, good. Not great first song, Invaders. It's like, what, about a seven out of ten, maybe? Um, seven is. Six and a half. Six and a half, seven. seven. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's fair. There yeah. you go. Uh, the next song I really like a lot. Oh, can I quote the, the lyrics? Because I wrote these <laughs> okay. down. Go for Smiles it. Smiles as the flame sears flash, melting his face, screaming in pain, <laughs> peeling the skin from his eyes. <laughs> what the hell? And you know, it's so weird because this song is not chosen for weddings. No. I don't get that. I don't know why. <laughs> this song's not picked as a, for a wedding song. It, 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 the, the, the lyrics of, of Children of the Damned are just they're evil <laughs> they're just evil but they're i love fun. the hesitation yeah you know I, and this is what i i like about this album this is you know the darkness here it, it really kicks in here yeah the, and, this one right right oof, it's wow. like damn uh maybe maybe a little sabbath influence would you say maybe um, a tinge a little the way there was way that yeah i could yeah a little bit yeah yeah a little bit uh I, I dig the song. I think it's the right length. It's like four and a half minutes long. That's what it should have been. The thing about it is every heavy metal band basically Sabbath influenced, if you think of it. That's that. very true. That's very true. We'll have to do a Black Sabbath album. That, that's uh, a good on point. the show. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Give this guys their 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 uh, their uh, their due. So uh but good song. Uh, much better than Invaders. I uh, I did Children of the Dam. Uh, I don't know if you'll be this high on it. I just love because if it's dark and dreary and death. I love it. So it's like around eight and a half or nine. Yeah, nine. Record. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. I've heard it live before. Yeah, so. yeah. and it's it's great. It's a great song. So yeah, so Children of the Damn, song two, side one. So let's go to song three on side one, shall we? That would be The Prisoner. Yeah. And this one is, it's a little bit more, I don't know, poppy for being <laughs> a little okay. bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, it's still heavy, but yeah. It, it's heavy, but it's a like heavy pop. 
do we call it that? Yeah, it, it's <laughs> it's just a more after that darkness of children of the damned. It's just a little bit more. You know, okay. This is, yeah, it's almost like a palate cleanser. You know, it's like yeah. okay, let's lift I mean, it up the a little bit. The content of the song's still dark. But, yeah. Um, yeah, this is not like the happiest record on on. It is on not. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. I, I was getting a big kick out of it when I was listening to it again, just to refresh the old noggin before we did the show. And I was like, "Good gravy! This thing is dark." No, no yeah. wonder I love this album. And, you so know, much, and you know? I don't know what we're telling anybody watching the show. I, I generally listen to these on uh, Amazon Unlimited Music, and, and a lot of the lyrics are scrolling. And I'm right. sitting there doing my second run through of the spring, just like. Whoa, <laughs> they were very happy guys back then oh yeah yeah so <laughs> oh but another good song you know uh, yeah. not a happy one but yeah i like it uh th this is i guess where my snobbery started was way back when because this this next song that's on the first side is where we figured out who was a fan and who wasn't uh 22 acacia avenue, avenue. yeah the sequel to charlotte the harlot Yes, yes, indeed. And it's uh, not horse. How it, it's got to be great, <laughs> right? Right. That's a good. I, I, and, you know, that's what metal's all about. You know, so bring on, bring it on. Uh, you know, a uh, great song. I, I love it. Lyrical I, content, I, I, I think, is hilarious. I love it. <laughs> You know what's going to happen is people are going to go listen to this, but they're going to wa watch it, look at the lyrics while they're doing it. They're going to go, "Those guys were right. These yeah, lyrics exactly are fantastic." Right. You yeah, know? do that if you have a, if you have that one of those services with the lyrics. Uh, like right, right, right. So or just uh, look up great them. song, great song uh, live. Every once in a while, they, they'll throw that bad yeah, boy on play. the live set, and it's a good play. It's the longest, uh, sec uh, longest on the side of this was six and a half minutes. Uh, long, but you know, you know, as we've done before, and I've, I've mentioned before, I I'm really not a big fan of songs that go really, really long. This one I like. This one I think is is that that's the right length. Uh, yeah, I didn't know. even notice the length of it when I when I was listening because I was just uh, laughing at the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish we could read all the lyrics, but I think we'd get in trouble. And that probably. You know? But better. yeah, yeah, well, I really don't want us to be sued by by Iron Maiden. But uh, but yeah, yeah, this is one of those times. It's like. When you guys go listen to it, of course, the, the, the gargoyle always says, put your headphones on and, and then read the lyrics while you're doing this. This is yeah. a good album for that, too. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. the, the clubbers, drumming, the bass. Right. And, and, and that's the thing with Iron Maiden. It's right. the one band where you notice the bass. Yes. Not, yes. And, and not every band do you, you know, there's just something there. No, the, the, the bass is almost a lead in some yes. of the songs. Yeah. And that's what I always liked about Steve Harris. That's why he was always one of my favorite ba bass players of all time. Oh, uh, he, may, he might be my favorite. That's it, a tough one. Yeah, it's a tough one there. He might be, you know, it's definitely top two, three for sure. Yeah, easily. easily. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The guy's just a, a, a monster at the bass. And, and I love that. And I, I think it's fantastic. So, so yeah, so that's one you know. We, we, you know, other people would say, "Oh, I'm a Maid fan." That's a 22 uh, Acadia Avenue. I'm like, no, <laughs> it's not that. You son of a bitch. Like the Led Zeppelin, uh, excuse me, the Robert Plant show where I, I was sitting there, a guy was saying, "Scream, play some Zeppelin." He was playing No Quarter. <laughs> I was like, "You fuck! <laughs> what an idiot!" <laughs> I love it. What an idiot! Oh. But you're oh. right. You're, I know what you were getting at. It's yeah. about you, know, you go to show and then people only know the three songs right, or whatever. Right. That's why we find. do these deep dives for everybody. That's so right. You can find out a little bit about what's on these albums. That's what the show is all about. You know, it's our love of heavy metal and, and stuff that you may not have listened to because most people, of course, listen just to the, the singles, the hits. So, you know, mm -hmm. I, you dig know, in and there's gems. Know. There's gems all through it's, these things. You know, we're revisiting these things because that's yeah. couple you know, I hadn't heard of. Yeah, yeah, it was it was nice to revisit this one, and and, and great first half uh, of the on the side A starts slow and then gets roiling and 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 going on that, and, and that's that's what I like to see. So yeah, so it's a strange album to where it's A and B sides are kind of switched in my world. You know, I think this yeah, because I'd we're be, getting ready to go right. into what I like to say the rarefied air is coming up. Yes, yes. So let's go for it. Let's go. We're, we're going to flip that vinyl. Go to side two, and the first song on side two is the title track, "The Number of the Beast." So oh, there's nothing you can say. It's it's oh. it's an all time classic. It's so great. It really is great. That's the song that most of my friends in high school. That's the song that got them into Iron Maiden, right? You know, 
Um, I can't believe like like, and it was the most controversial song, obviously, if you're you know screaming six six six, but it was getting played on the radio. It's right, hard to right. believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it affected us so much that we, my friends and I, took German in high school, and this was the song we had to put translate from English to German. So we oh, walked down the hall. Yeah, so we were walking down the high on the highway, the hallways of the school, going sex, sex, sex. The no off the Zeit. and people were like, wow. <laughs> I didn't so, know that story. Yeah, yeah. I you know, throw a few curves in there. Yeah, you got know, oh, my 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 life's an open book. Yeah, all the yeah, years, no. all the years I've known you, I don't uh-huh. think you've ever told me that one. No, I don't think I have. No, no. So there's always yeah. dark secrets somewhere. Yeah, so, some we can't say. But, yeah, yeah. but that but, but this was the song, and, and we were very influenced by this, my friends and I, and and I I I, I, I would even say that even at this point they were uh, like kiss level. Well, I mean, friends, you know, th- th- this th- this thing exploded. I mean, but I mean, th- but really, if you lived it back in 1982, like we did, it was kind of a taboo song. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. A little bit. The whole yeah, album actually yeah. was. Yeah. But yeah. When, I, when I strolled in with it, I remember you know, not people not being happy. <laughs> yeah. 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 My, my, my German teacher was not the most thrilled person when we picked uh, out of 10 billion songs. That's the song we picked. You know, he was like, really? Why yeah. Not? Yeah. That's about the reaction stuff. So go after yourself. Anyway. But, yeah, but I mean, seriously, that, I mean, that, uh, not to bull, bull, like, uh, break the point or whatever, mm-hmm. is that it, 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 this album, was, there was a lot going on when that came out. And this is the day on the PMRC yes. and all that stuff mm-hmm. and religious groups. So, I mean, it, it was controversial. Yeah, and, and we listened to it. Look how normal we turned out. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's a great way to start a side of that album. This, like I said, A and B are like flip for me on this one. Oh, so yeah. uh, the sec- second song uh, on on side two, just an absolute classic. I the, I, I the, never get sick sick of this song. Run to the hills. The, I, it's, that, it's the other single too. The, it the is. Both singles follow. I mean, that, you don't see that too much on the album. Right. Uh, just love this song i just think it's fantastic i i do it, it's it's a perfect song it's a it's a rarefied 10 in, in my world it, it, it is and, and it's basically about how we took over the united states <laughs> rightfully so mm-hmm. yeah 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 well you no, know the british about indians and slaughtering right yeah the british love us so much still from all that so yes <laughs> that's where the you know this came from but this, mean, this, is, it, this is a sidetrack. When I was in London for uh, an yeah. NFL football game, yeah. I took the tour of the, of the Tower of London, and we have a tour guide, and he's uh-huh. talking to everybody. He goes, so anybody here from the United States? And, and you know, raise your hand and right. whatever. And he goes, well, you know, if you'd have paid your taxes, this would be yours. <laughs> God love them. And, and people wonder why I love the Brits. I, I, that's why. I love that sense of by the way, since I have been there, people think the beer is warm. It's not. Oh, that's a that's a you can get a cold a tall tale. Oh, okay. I mean, I can drink beer in any way. I'm really not fond of it being warm, but if I have right, to, I, I have to. For a concert over there, I would be a maiden would have been there. I would have went. I was I was staying <laughs> right. right by O2 Arena. So oh, were you really? I really would have played. You know, oh, okay. For Wembley. Yeah, yeah. Had I been able to go to Britain last year, that's where I was going to go for the Gary Newman. Uh, tour was to see him at Wembley, and but of course that that never happened. But um, that's fun over there. You can, yeah. you can even eat. But anyway, yeah. I digress. But yeah, yeah. But anyway, back to uh, <laughs> hi. It's the Ed and Bob show. We're going to just talk about us. Why not? Iron Man. We're never talking about. Okay, no. So anyway, oh, I mean, what one of the hills? Think? Terrific. Yeah, obvious yeah. single on the album. Yeah. It, 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 if you haven't heard this this song, then turn in your heavy metal card. Uh, yeah. You just burned it. You just nuked it. Uh, this is one of those songs that top 10 all time heavy metal tunes. This should be in there. So yeah. that's it. So, so I'm going to shut my mouth so Ed can get a couple of words in. So, what's side, side B? Song three. What do we got there? So, that would be uh, Gangland. Yes. Mm-hmm. And this mm-hmm. is this is where things get a little weird and we'll talk about it. But mm-hmm. uh, um, it's um, about a Gangland's an average Iron Maiden song. It's okay. Um, mm-hmm. We'll talk about it in, in a couple minutes, I guess. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, they wish they would have replaced it with something else. And we'll, I guess we're going to tackle that at the end. We are. We are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But Gangland, just it's, it's average song. It's average. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're capable of much better. But, you know. Um, but it sounds, you know, exactly like it, But it, I think my problem with Gangland mm-hmm. is it just blended in too much. It doesn't stand out. 
Okay. All right. Okay. It yeah, just that seems makes, that obvious, makes sense. And, and there's nothing yeah. particularly special about that one. Right. Right. But well, it, I think. Yeah, it's yeah. not offensive. I yeah, mean, I think that's, I say that a lot, but it's the truth. Like a lot of these songs, right. we're criticizing. It doesn't mean they're they're not all right. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but like Run to the yeah. Hill stands out. Yeah. Right. And that's I think that's the problem with the song is that it has to follow Number of the Beast and Run to the Hills. Well, you know, but, that's a great know? point. That is a great point. Yeah. And um, yeah. I, I'll, I'll go with that. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You're kind of way up here and then <clears throat> comes back down. And, you know, yeah. but, you know, but it's, is it a good song? Yeah. Is it great? No. No, it's good. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's about best I can say on that one. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. Last song on the album. Uh, I love, and again, it's it's the longest song on the record, and yet I love it. Hallowed be thy name, seven minute song, with that intro. And, well, they have and, to tell a story in this one. And then when I when I was reading, they they can consider it like an epic mini audio movie. Yeah, about someone's execution. Yeah, <laughs> see the darkness. Yeah. This whole yep. album, it's really dark and all, but. But great ideas for songs. Right. I, you know, I think, it you know, sounds like to me, I, I could see that song being used in a, in a Game of Thrones episode or something. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, that'd be cool. It, it, it kind of conjures that kind of feeling up. Right. Right. That makes sense from, from shows oh, like yeah. that, even. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, I love it. And, and one of my favorite bands we covered it and did a great job of it. Believe it or not, Cradle of Filth. Cradle of Filth. I've never heard that. I'm not surprised. By that. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I've never heard that. No, uh, you know my 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 love of the dark and black metal and all that. Uh, but yeah, they do a great version of. I know. I've heard of them. Yeah, yeah. Most people have heard of them, and, and they usually last about ten seconds into them, and then that's that's. Oh wow! Well, if you're so, not, you, I'm going to listen. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll I'll tell you which CD to listen to first, and, and uh, okay, we'll, we'll off talk air. about that post show or something. Yeah, yeah. Nymphetamine. But anyway, so. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, this is a great song and a great way to end the album. Uh, classic story. Um, yeah, great you're right. Book, it's like a little great story. Everything. Yeah, you know, it's terrific. So that's that. And before we give our, our average score on this album, though, I, I do want us to talk about what we've been alluding to for a couple of times. There was another song on there and they they decided not to go with it. And I don't know the full story why I, I, heard, I was reading that um it was going to be a b-side possibly right. i think right. that, that, that may, i think i, I think it that, was that's what it ended up being yeah but it, but they but they uh steve harris said that, that they wished they would have put it on the album instead of gangway there you go there you go and it was introduced onto the album on one of the uh remasters or, yeah. or 40th anniversary release really, so. yeah yeah and, and if you lived in, in in britain or uh japan you got this song originally it was on it was in between uh it was in between run to the hills and gangland and i think gangland would have been better the japanese are so lucky they, they are. Got got great stuff, stuff. So, <laughs> yeah I guess we should tell everybody. Oh, the song is called Total Eclipse. Total Eclipse. And it is so good. It it's is such really a good song. great song. And it really would have done perfectly put on this album. It should have been on the, that. And hell, you know, they had to eliminate one, eliminate Gangland and replace it with this. Right. But, but you, you know, know what? They, 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 later on, they, they rectified the system. They did. They did. I mean, you know, it's not like it was a long song, you know, and they were like, Press for time, you know, space on the vinyl and everything. It, it's uh, four, four minutes and 25 seconds long. So it turned, it would have only been, well, the original was like 39 minutes. And yeah, this one would you, have been, you, you, yeah, when you think about Maiden, you know, four minutes and 20 something seconds is not that long. Right, right. You know, so with this song on there, it's 43, 36. Okay. That's still a fine, fine you know, to, uh, time total for an album. So, right. you know, I, I I don't know. I don't know. But that that was one of the few swing and a miss by, you know, ideas by Maiden. I think they're, uh, you know, one, well, they are one of my all-time favorite bands. I and, still uh, listen you know. to them, even their most recent stuff I listen yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Like, Jitsu! Oh, I'm sorry, excuse yeah. me. Sorry, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Something caught my throat. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, you know, and, and like you said, yeah, the 1998, uh, well, yeah, 95, they had the bonus disc, and the Total Eclipse was on that, and Remember Tomorrow, the live version was on there. And then in 98, they remastered it, and Total Eclipse was on there uh, as well. So, um, but yeah, uh, yeah, just one of those songs that I thought, if you listen to it with that, with Total Eclipse on it, Gangland gets better because it doesn't have to follow the the two. Yeah, it gets I, a little I bit listened better. to it. The way, I listened to it a little uh, a little weird because I couldn't find the 40th anniversary. So, but okay. I couldn't mm -hmm. 
but I could find Total Eclipse again because mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. I don't collect CDs much or anything anymore. Right. It's right. probably in the back in, my, in this beautiful room I'm in with the hammer. <laughs> but um, there you go. It's probably back there. But yeah. I just I just listened to it through Amazon Music, so I didn't quite get that with the running order. But I'm, I'll try that. Yeah. Yeah. So you know. T- so. You know, we always give it. Well, we don't always. Just, we started doing this, and this is the uh, another part of the show that I I like to do is is we give it a score uh, as a whole. The, uh, this album to me is an eight without Total Eclipse, but a nine with Total Eclipse. All right, I'm going to grade it this way. Despite the two average songs, I am giving the album a ten. Are you really giving it a ten? You're giving it a 10. A yeah, hammer I don't 10. give that grade out easily. It's, no. it, it, it's, it was considered the 17th top heavy metal album of all time. Yeah, so, but you're saying a lot. And, and, you know, and I had a blast listening to it the last two days. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I think you still have, you know, I mean, anything from 8 to 10 is fair. Mm-hmm. You know, um, right. I, I, I think even with a song or two, you know, mediocre, mm-hmm. you can still, it can still be a 10. I think, like you were saying earlier, Run to the Hills, stuff like that, and, 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 and Number of the Beast. Um, yeah. That it overrides anything else on there. That, that It just kicks it up. Okay, so, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Plus, yeah. they have a beautiful album cover with their mascot who's named after me. That's right. I was going to joke about that, and I'm like, okay. But you took it. Good. I'm glad you did, because if you weren't, I was going to. But uh, you should have. Yes, was, yes. Yeah, Ed, I was going to mention it. Yeah, Ed's parents named... <laughs> Eddie. And, most, okay, and Eddie. most of my friends, a lot of my friends do call me Eddie still. It's right. usually the people I grew up with really, really early. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. I should I'll go with Eddie from Iron Maiden in one Halloween party or something. You should. It's Eddie that'd by be, Eddie. <laughs> so it'd be cool. That'd be but a great yeah. mask. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, it's, they've got them. There's masks out there. Yeah. There, there's some good ones out there. Um, you know, but yeah, uh, uh, terrific album, uh, number one in the UK, number 33 in the United States, which is very good for a band just for here. Out. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. So, so there's a review of number of the beast and hopefully you'll, you know, a- agree with most of what we say. I don't expect everybody to no, agree with everything. Care. No, no. So what well, we do to No. Okay. It sounded good for a moment, but, uh. Oh, yeah, everybody's, this is everybody's got their opinions you know? yeah opinions are like yeah everybody's got one anyway <laughs> uh the, the, so that's our, our review and then real quick i just want to reiterate what, kind of what we were talking about at the beginning uh the the, the interview show is coming back um i don't know what it's going to be called yet got an idea but we got to ice ice the details together uh the reason why we both have these pictures well ed's been using his for a, a few episodes now and uh, it's, this is what's the lo- going to be the logo uh for the new interview show so there's there's your gargoyle there you go see if you look i don't look and much i got a different. hammer behind me what i love about it, it it look can i say this i guess i can you can it's say like whatever you want cock and balls and that's really the hammer yeah yeah i, I... <laughs> I um, think okay. you know uh, uh i'm not saying well you know it's i'm not tooting my own horn but yeah that's art i made i love it you know and uh you know on the computer and uh it explains you know, the nickname is perfect yeah the hammer and there it is on kind of a cock and balls <laughs> image so uh yeah but anyway uh so that that's going to be it that's there's our, our new logo uh, not logo but you know a uh, uh, picture for the show yeah uh, we'll occasionally uh, mix them up but uh, they're, yeah. they're, they're, they're the standard ones yeah yeah and and uh you know that's what we're gonna we're gonna do and so we hope you guys will, will join us for that uh we're, oh, we're something still doing we should this. announce oh um, sure, i'm not gonna say who it is but mm-hmm. we're for uh, the next week for the first time ever we're gonna have a guest yes yeah we are yeah and that will kind of be i guess our segue into doing an interview show True. Yeah. Next week, this is, it'll be the bridge between the, the show. So, yeah. So we can't say anything yet, right? But what we are doing, so it's going to be a, a, a threesome. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, get all this talk of cock and balls and threesomes now. I'm getting all <laughs> hot and bothered. <laughs> yeah. But listen, yeah. be, um, I guess we can say this much about it. Go ahead. I think we're going to do the way it looks right now. It's going to be. A, the format would be slightly similar, but we're not doing an album. I think we're going to do the top 10 most ridiculous concert moments that any of us have ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 
things that have happened at shows that we've been to. Yes, exactly yeah, yeah. right. We'll name the yeah. show, so we'll be talking, still be talking metal because most yeah. of those shows were metal anyway. Yeah, well, how we're going to do it is our guest is going to get four picks. Ed's going to get three. I'm going to take three. Hopefully no one will take mine because there's a certain person that we used to hang out with that that's going to be my number one of the oh, three God. picks. I'm not. I, 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 I'm guessing in my head. I have a problem. Yeah, yeah. You, you know him very well, actually. Yeah. Uh, but I'll never forget this moment as long as I live. And we'll talk about that next week. So you'll have to come right, back yeah, next well, week. I, this. I, I, you know, th this is another one, finally, that we're going to have to do a pre-show before we show it to everybody <laughs> up there because there's certain stories that can't go out. Yeah, yeah, they, I definitely don't want to use names if, if it's somebody that we know. No, I'm we not going to, you know, it won't we be names, names, but, but I, I, think, I think everybody will be very amused with this. Yeah, show. yeah, so it'll be a very, very interesting show, I think. So, and then we'll, we'll in the following week, we'll go back uh, to, to uh, Headbangers we'll Tonight. Pick another album, yeah. and please post about what yeah. you'd, like, you'd like us to do. Otherwise, absolutely. We'll yeah, I mean, we're here for you guys. I mean, this is fun for us, and we enjoy getting to hang out for a little while every week and all. But, you know, it's with you guys, you know, if you that that you know, we want you guys to be involved and, and take things in and on. That's why the decision to make the show better, the show's better on the page um, is why this happens. So. So, yeah. So this is the background you're going to see on that one, uh, the, the interview show. Um, it'll be the same format as it's been done before. Half hour interview, roughly half hour, 35 minutes. Um and just let people talk. You know, it was one of the few times that people could shut me up was I just asked questions and let other people talk. And I just, you know, you know that's what it's for. So we're going to be promoting bands and singers left and right and all. Uh, and, By the way, if you hear a ringing in the background, some ignorant telemarketer is trying to get through. That's fantastic. <laughs> I put the phone in the other room. I thought it was muted. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought that was Bruce Dickinson calling in to say thanks for yeah, the great he, review. He tell us how much he loved the show. See? <laughs> so... Anyway, so on that stupid note, let's end the show. And, and I'll, as I try to keep a straight face, but I can't do that. I just, this is the, the half hour of life I look forward to every week. Um, oh, boy, someone's going to love hearing that. Anyway, um, but yeah, so join us next week. Different kind of show. We'll get back on track in two weeks. And, uh, and, I'll, and like I said, by then, we're going to probably have some interviews lined up. Uh, well, at least one. I mean, we're not going to have a ton, but, but we'll, we'll, We'll be doing that, and, and uh, it'll be like the old sh show where I used to where it's not major bands. These are bands. Uh, the reason why I created Gargoyle's Graveyard, real quick before we go, the reason why I created it way back when was to help bands that aren't getting exposed, and you know, and and that's why I had to to do the show. Was I don't want somebody that's got nine million followers already. You know, it's like just you know, it's got to be that, and, and you know, it's got to be somebody that. Uh, that no one's heard of. I want people to hear this music. There's great bands out there, and that's why I wanted to do it. Yeah, so. it's a terrific idea. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. It's just that now the show's going to be better because Ed's going to be on it. And, and I get to hear some know. stuff I would never, not probably not have ever heard. So yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. I got a certain band in mind that you're going to love. So already in my head. But uh, anyway, uh, so that's where we're going to end the show for today. Uh, like I said, uh, like we said, next week, different type of show. We'll have a, a guest with us, and then back on track. And also, yeah, everybody that watches this, go on the Gargoyles Graveyard page or on Ed's Facebook page and give him some love because it's a, it's the Ed and Bob show. Oh, real quick, yeah, Ed is now an admin of the page as well. Yeah, I got I so. gotta go, I gotta go on there. Um, yeah. That's another thing. That's the, yeah. this, Ed, we're, now we're talking administrative stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. So I won't be running it all by myself. So now that everything that the, it'll be run right. It's a, <laughs> it will be the, the train wreck that I made it. Uh, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Keep up with it. We're getting the views. We're getting the the the, the talk. Up. It's starting to buzz a little bit with us now, and uh, we thank you for that. And uh, we're glad you guys dig the show. Uh, so uh, this is your buddy pal, the Gargoyle, with the Hammer. That's right, Ed the Hammer Stilts. We thank you all for watching. You all rock on. Keep it up. Go listen to this album. It's fantastic. And we'll talk to you all next week. All right. So take care, everyone. We'll see, see you ya. soon. Bye.